he points pointier with the file. So could we learn how to make a leaf out of the end? Well, I'm not sure that that, we can make a leaf, but I wouldn't put it on the end of, of our fork here, because we want to have something more fast and practical. That's still fine. I don't want to be able to pull this down enough so that I can actually hold it. Nice. <laughs> Use the corner of the anvil to give you a stop.
handle has a very, very thick horn. So it's a little hard. If we had a thick iron, there is one somewhere. Well, we've got these guys, but they're not good. How about, where's our uh, smithing? Uh, well, yeah. that's you want to use it. That's that's the candle mold stick. It well. doesn't come doesn't come to enough of a point on the end. It's okay. stubby. Something like little, this. You got the little anvil over here. Well, we got this guy. This is not really the way to do this, but. So what anvil is that one meant to go in? Or is that meant to go in a table? That actually could go in one of these round holes in the swage block. You could lay that block flat and put that swage block in that. This is a, a big iron or a big anvil. When you had little rings and things were things that you needed to get into. Like when I was looking for something to work the fork, you could actually work it over, over that part of the little anvil because sometimes you're going to Thick. All right. So you see, this is a much finer point than the big anvil has. So I could actually get inside the hoop. And this is not a terribly pretty little hoop, but it's functional. Yeah, and. That's what we're going for today, just to show you that you can do these things. Fine artist for later. Fine artist for later. You're going for, for technique. You now have a way to hang your fork. And you, can, and you can also shape these different ways, depending on how you want to hold it. by splitting, forging out the time, using the same bit. And you get to use some different tools. So I'm going to put this back down over here for the moment. Hammer. This is probably why this is not my hammer. That's another thing. But next volunteer, as they say, it's like shampoo. this quicker? He, he could, but uh, I have had experience with people trying to work with a thin piece of stock like that and to get it out of the fire and in the vise fast enough and still have heat enough to cut it. He's, he's not at a skill level where that's likely to happen. So it's, it, it, is, it is something that works better with heavier stock and somebody who is used to working fast. So. As opposed to us, which are slow, slow and bad. Well, no, it's not, not a quality issue. It's not.
20 minutes with stories and instructions. So. Uh, it's not a terribly pretty port, but it's, it's designed to, to show the system. Some track, 10 meters of stories. Uh, I'll throw that in my camp kit. Yes. Uh, you're in the file of little points. Yeah, I can do that. And also use the grinder. However you wish to attack it is what it would be. Probably wanted to uh, get a, yeah, one of the old books that has plans. She has summer students like interns, and I like the workout it gives. It, yeah, because you you would actually have to uh, figure out a plan for. There you go. You've got enough. You've got enough uh, split. Enough split that you can either open it up in the vise by by hitting this one this way and that one that way, or or using the fuller. There's the, the good thing about blacksmithing is is there's always multiple pathways to the same result. So depending on what tools you have and and what you uh, want to do, there's always more than one way to get there. I think I'm going to fold it after I get a nice I think that's a wise decision. <laughs> that's another tool to play with. You know, we love playing with tools. As long as they've got all these nice tools here, it's it's. It's a shame now, not to try them out. Here's the question. Are they tools or toys? Tools. Because they could be considered toys, because they'll let you create tooling very neat things. Well, they could be both. I, I always think of um, toys. Toys are tools to create happiness. Yes. Keep going. Yep. It's correction, correction, correction. You you do something until it it, it gets too far out of the way to be correctable, and you correct it. And you go so back. it's one application in a lifetime. You get periodically. I've
graduate question is, what is the difference between iron and steel? Amount of carbon. I agree with you on the answer to carbon. Yeah. Yeah. It's more of the Oh, yeah. 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 Y